Hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm a volunteer at the Urban Farming Institute in Oakland Park. This is an episode of Act Now, Nourishing Ourselves Holistically, where we explore healthy habits for your body, mind, and soul. As a licensed family therapist, I am acutely aware of the overall impact these trying times with the coronavirus are having on our overall mental health. I'm here today to talk to you about the impact of stress and how you can repurpose the stress in your life to make yourself more happy, more successful, more productive. As I've been talking with my own clients, with my own friends, with my own family members, the one commonality I'm noticing in everybody's response to this pandemic is an increase in stress. We've got difficulty economically. We've been told that we have to social distance and stay away from each other. And we know that human connection is something we all crave so much. A lot of us are transitioning to working from home, which is something that we're not used to. And with all of these things combining, with not being able to find toilet paper in the store and worrying about contracting this virus yourself, we've got a recipe for massive stress takeover. Physiologically, I wanna tell you a little bit about the impact stress has on our immune systems. So stress weakens our immune systems. Cortisol is a stress hormone that has been called the alarm system of the body. So basically when a stressful stimulus is put in front of you, cortisol tells you that you need to do one of three things. You need to fight, you need to run away, or you need to freeze in order to handle that. So fight, flight, or freeze response is something you might be familiar with. That's really useful when you're in a situation where you need to run away from something that's threatening. Well, right now, what we have is this massive increase in cortisol, but there's no major stimulus that we have to run away from. We actually have more time than ever to sit around and ruminate, so keep on thinking about these stressful events um, but there's not a lot we can actually do to respond to that. So when cortisol is given free reign in our bodies, we actually know based on the research that a lot of negative things start to happen to our health. Increases in cortisol are linked to greater instances of anxiety, depression, weight gain, sleep deprivation, heart disease, just to name a few. So these are all things that none of us want to experience. Um, the question is, what do we do to respond to this stress in a way that can help us to regulate it and hopefully not experience all of those detrimental health impacts? Obviously, eating healthy and exercise are great holistic ways to kind of regulate your stress, but today I'm going to share a technique with you that I use with my own therapy clients. Within this model, rather than getting rid of your stress, which by the way isn't totally possible, you get to repurpose your stress into a useful tool for your own success. So let's talk about the WHOOP method. WHOOP stands for Wish, Outcome, Obstacle, and Plan. This method has actually been scientifically proven to help people achieve their goals and reduce their stress. This is how. Basically, you use your stress, instead of pushing it away, instead of trying to suppress it, you actually use your stress to anticipate obstacles that can come up things that could keep you from achieving your goals. And you use that stress to make a plan to address those specific obstacles. We're gonna go through the four steps of the plan. I'm gonna give you an example, and then hopefully you'll be able to use this in your own lives to make them better and to achieve your goals. So let's start with wish. Wish, goal, call it what you want. You can think of this as just something that you want to achieve, something that's important to you. Within the time of social distancing, I'm imagining that you might have a goal of improving your relationships with your family and friends or maintaining productivity with the time that you have at home, maybe specifically maintaining productivity while you're working from home. Um, I think that's the goal we're going to go with because it just seems relevant to a lot of people right now. And if you have a job where you're not able to work from home, you can still use this goal. So you can still try to be productive with the time that you do have at home. All of those projects that you always you know, want to get around to, but you don't quite get around to, now is a really great time to focus on those things. So whether it's working from home or just being productive with your time, our wish is increased productivity. Now that we've got our wish, we're going to envision the outcome. This is the second step in the WHOOP process. With outcome, you want to be as specific as possible. So you wanna visualize this outcome as much as you can in the greatest detail that you can. So if we go with maintaining productivity while working from home, let's imagine when the coronavirus is contained and all is said and done and social distancing is not a thing anymore, imagine the growth you'll experience in your workplace as a result of all the time and energy you put in while quarantine. 
What will you accomplish over the next few weeks or months? Maybe you'll launch an online platform for your company. Maybe your boss will notice all the work you put in while you were at home and you'll get that promotion that you've been wanting for the past year. Um, maybe you'll actually end up using the time to write a book that you've always wanted to write or to write something that contributes to your field in a significant way. The idea here is the more specifically you envision the outcome, the better. So you wanna even go beyond just workplace. Think about how increased productivity will result in better relationships, better relationships with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues, the whole nine. Okay, so you envision the outcome. We've kind of done that. Now we're going to move on to envisioning the obstacles. So this step is where you let your cortisol run wild. You want to use your stress and worry, worry, worry as much as possible to think about everything that might get in your way of being more productive with your time. So I'm imagining for myself, focusing on one thing at a time is hard for me. So working from home is kind of difficult in that way. Maybe you find it difficult to stay organized when you don't have somebody who's kind of micromanaging your productivity. Maybe you tend to just kind of lack the motivation that it takes to be your own boss and work from home. These are a few good obstacles. We're going to go with those. And this leads us to the final step of the WHOOP process, which is planning. So this step involves specifically addressing each obstacle so that if or when it comes up, you're ready to tackle it and navigate it um, with a specific plan. So for all of those three or four um, obstacles I just listed, there are a few different plans we could put in place. Maybe if productivity or follow through is hard for you, you're gonna break your goals down into smaller, more achievable goals, little tasks, and you're gonna put them on a list. Maybe you need somebody to hold you accountable to getting those things done. So you're going to have a Zoom or a Skype meeting with a colleague where you guys are working towards the same goal. Maybe that person becomes somebody that you share your calendar with. So maybe you create a to-do list, um, a task list on Google Calendar, and you share it with that person so that they're continuously checking in on you and making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. In all of these ways, you're creating an effective map for navigating those challenges. And you're gonna be able to address those things when they do happen because you worried about them ahead of time. This was a simple example, and as I said, you can really use this method with any goal. While we're in a position where we have so much more time to sit and reflect, we might as well use that time to really think about the goals we have for ourselves and use our stress as a catalyst to achieve those goals. So remember, wish, outcome, obstacle, and plan. By using this four-step method, you can repurpose your stress into something meaningful that will help you achieve your goals. And I'm guessing it will also improve your own health and the health of your families as we all try to navigate this time where there are a ton of unknowns.